discuss an 8-pin relay base. This is the beginning to our uh, look into motor controls and how we wire them. So basically today we're going to go over what are our contacts on an 8-pin relay base. 8-pin relay base is very simple and once you memorize what all the pins are, it, there's almost no thinking at all. This is a basic understanding. I will show you on the board and then I will show you on the relay base. This is a very basic but very informative way for you to remember how to wire an 8-pin relay base. We're going to start with the basics. Normally closed. Normally closed means that in a relay, a relay is in a de-energized state. It has to be de-energized. So if it's de-energized, that means power is actually rolling through the common terminal or the power in terminal and running through the normally closed contacts, which could be turning on a light or a switch or a motor or whatever it may need to be running. Normally open. Normally open in a de-energized state means there is no power there. There will be power there once we energize the coil. If we do not energize the coil on an ice cube relay and or an on delay, we will not be able to get the normally closed, or excuse me, the normally open to become closed. By doing this, it's very simple to understand that when it is off, if I need something to come on, I'm going to use the normally closed. If I don't want it to run until I energize the coil, it needs to be normally open. Okay? An 8-pin relay base is set up just like this. The way you can tell is if you're looking at the 8-pin base, the little key where you insert your relay the key needs to be facing down. Then you need to look at it in this aspect. The pins. The pins are marked on the base. They're embossed very, very slightly. And if you've used a, uh, an 8-pin base that's been used quite a bit, it may have rubbed off. So it's kind of good for you to understand that if you have an understanding that the key facing down, we count counterclockwise, we can make this work. So follow me. Key facing down. This is the key. Pin number one is the third one in from the right. So we have one, two, we go up to the top three, we come across the top from right to left, four, five, six, seven, eight, we end. This is every base. I have not found a base that has been wired different, but always remember, read the instructions. Anytime, especially when you're out in the field, if you get an eight pin base, look at it. Find out exactly how it's wired because the information in the package will tell you how it's wired. I'm gonna tell you 95% of the eight pin bases that you're gonna receive out in the field will have a setup just like this. So what do these pins mean? Very simple. I want you to think about it this way. An 8-pin base. An 8-pin base needs a coil and also has two sets of on, uh, normally open and normally closed contacts. Here's, here's how it goes. One is our power in. Eight is our power in. That, without power coming into either one of these, and it doesn't necessarily have to be power. It could be a switch leg coming from two different power sources, but what we need to understand is, it's, we've got to get, it's a common type power. Two is going to be part of our coil. Seven is also part of our coil. Major misconception of students. Two and seven are the coil. The coil does not care if it gets the hot or the neutral. Okay, neutral being the grounded conductor. 
it does not matter. But remember this, without the neutral, your coil will not be energized. Okay? Do not put power on it unless you have a 240 volt coil. We're talking about 120 volts today, so we're talking about one hot and one neutral. Two and seven, so two can be the hot, seven can be the neutral. Two can be the neutral, seven can be the hot. It doesn't matter how you wire it, it's how you want to wire it. If you have a diagram, which we'll do in another video, if you have a diagram and the diagram is labeled and tells you that the hot wire needs to get wired to seven and the neutral needs to be wired to two, you're going to get that information. So you need to wire it that way. If you're on your own and you're wiring this, you could use it for a fire alarm or relay shutdown, something of that nature. Remember, you can do whatever you want because as long as you get it to work, that's all that anybody cares. We go to the top row. We have, a, we have three, four, five, and six. Three and six are normally open. Four and five are normally closed. Here's how I want you to look at this. This relay is split in half. One will operate four and three. Eight will operate six and five. If you have something wired to five or six and you only have power going to one, it will not work. You'll have to put in a jumper and jump it from one to eight to carry constant power to it. I'm going to show you this in actual demonstrations in other videos. So please make sure you watch this, you like it, obviously subscribe because you want to be able to stay on top of this.